As an adult in 2013, I had a beautiful dream, vision about Christ and baptism was one of the things I dreamt of. I wanted to get baptized again because it felt like I was renewing my faith. So I did get baptized in 2014 at the age of 40. Someone told me a while ago that if I get baptized for a second time, that means I am renouncing my faith. So my question is, if it is true, am I renouncing my faith if I get baptized for a second time? Now, my question to you, my beloved, is where were you baptized the second time? Was it an apostolic church? What I mean by apostolic, was it Catholic, Orthodox, or was it elsewhere? If you could email us, please, and tell us who baptized you, in which church and denomination of Christendom were you baptized in? Now, to answer your question in a nutshell, baptism can only be done once and once only. It cannot be repeated. You can't do it again and again and again. It doesn't work. It is not biblical. It is only done once. The reason being, um, in the Nicene Creed, when we say we believe in one God, the Father, all, uh, Almighty Creator, you know that Nicene Creed? Towards the end, what do we say? And we believe in one baptism for the remission or for the forgiveness of sins. Correct? We say we believe in one baptism for the forgiveness or the remission of sins. The reason being baptism is only done once and once only is, number one, the founder of the sacrament, baptism, is Jesus Christ. This is a divine sacrament, nothing of man. So the one who actually founded this sacrament is God. So when God does something and gives something, he doesn't repeat it. It is once and once only. That's one. Number two, baptism must be done in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Very important. It's got to be in the name of the Holy Trinity, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Number three, baptism is for salvation. Mark 16, 16, he who believes and is baptized will be saved. So baptism is done once. Number four, in baptism, we put on the Christ, Galatians 3, 27. Well, how many times are you going to put on the Christ? Only once. Number five, baptism purifies, cleanses, and forgives original sin. Book of Acts, chapter 22. In baptism, we are being made members in the mystical body of Christ. We become members in the mystical body of Christ. Ephesians 5.30, Romans 8.16, Romans 8.29. In baptism, we become members in the mystical body of Christ. And also, my beloved, baptism is one and one only because in Ephesians 4, 5, it says, and there is one Lord, one faith, and one baptism. Ephesians chapter 4, verse 5, one baptism. 